axillary brachial plexus block. The patient is placed in the supine position with the arm abducted at 90 degrees. It is important not to abduct the arm to a greater extent as this may cause the head of the humerus to compress the brachial plexus sheath at the level of the injection. Anatomy Short head of the biceps muscle Coracobrachialis muscle Long head of the triceps muscle Brachial artery Musculocutaneous Median Radial and the ulnar nerve Given the variability of the anatomy and in particular the variability of the fascial planes in this area it is not surprising that single injection techniques using nerve stimulators have a relatively high failure rate. However, multiple injection techniques using ultrasonography are known to have a very high success rate. This is an out-of-plane technique with the needle introduced approximately at right angles to the skin of the upper arm. First of all, the needle is passed towards the ulnar nerve lying at the 3 o'clock position. Once the needle lies close to the ulnar nerve, local anaesthetic is injected and is seen to surround the nerve. Secondly, the needle is passed posteriorly to the vein and artery towards the radial nerve. Once the needle is close to the radial nerve, local anaesthetic is injected. Then the needle is withdrawn and passed anterior to the artery so as to place local anaesthetic around the median nerve. In addition to the ulnar, radial and median nerves, the musculocutaneous nerve should now be blocked. The needle is passed through the body of coracobrachialis towards the clearly visible musculocutaneous nerve. Once the needle is placed in close proximity to the nerve, injection of a very small amount of local anaesthetic will surround it and effectively block it.